Hi, my name is Dex from my console and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting systems. So if you'd like to support us to create more content frequently, do like and subscribe today. Alright, so with the implementation of e-invoice, there are multiple components that we will need to take note of. So over the next few months, we'll be creating different guides on how you can get your company ready to implement e-invoice. So in today's video, we'll be going to look into the new changes to set up e-invoice in AutoCount. In today's video, we'll be actually looking at AutoCount version 2.2. Okay, you can actually see the number here, AutoCount 2.2. So to begin setup, first we need to come here to Tools, come here to Options, come here to Country and Tax, come here to e-invoice, alright? So first of all, you must take Enable e-invoice and then you can select your date. Okay, when you're going to start your e-invoicing, so whether 1st of August, 1st of January 2025 or 1st of July 2025. So once you have just selected this, automatically we can actually take this to allow to create consolidated e-invoice. This is because of the relaxation rule or the guide so that you can actually create consolidated e-invoice for the first 6 months after implementing. So you actually you can put the date here and then the system will generate for you consolidated e-invoice. However, users can actually manually change this to a different date whenever you guys are ready. Alright, so once this set up, you also need to click this called Update e-invoice code list. And it's using AIP staging. AIP staging means any transactions or any e-invoice you try to validate will be validated through the LHHDN sandbox server, not the live server. So it will not flow into your actual accounts with the LHDN portal. Alright, so if you want to change it to your live one, please contact our team and we can actually enable it for you. Alright. Alright, so before we can actually proceed, you need to actually do some setup inside your My Invoice portal. Alright, so make sure you can actually log into this or if you're not sure, contact our team and then we can actually assist you in this part. Okay, so once you're actually in the My Invoice portal, you need to come up here first on the right top. Make sure that you're logged into your company taxpayer profile, not your individual taxpayer profile. Alright, so come to here, My Consult, Sunyan Bahad. So what happens is it will bring you to the taxpayer profile. You can actually scroll all the way down. What happens is you can see there's a function called Add Intermediary. So first thing you need to do is press Add Intermediary. Okay, they ask you for all these details. You can actually get it from the description below or you can actually contact us for the information all right so let's say we copy the text information here copy come here paste yarn number paste and then after that your company name it and press equal and then we press continue okay the next step here will be actually to select your representation date so we can actually say example if we go here say 2nd of uh, September we can go all the way to 3 years time you can come here 25 26 27 say September 2nd okay and then make sure that you have actually tick all this to enable it if not what happens is when you want to validate your invoice, you will face some error, okay? So once you're done, we just press Add Intermediary. You can come here to Intermediaries. You can see there is the auto count system already under Active Status. The next thing that you need to do is you need to register your ERP system. So register ERP. Alright, choose a friendly name. So this name is not, um, what we can say, uh, not uh, compulsory or need, doesn't need to follow a full word. Or the full name we can just say okay auto count all right and then we can actually say the expiry expiration of this uh secret will be for three years and then we just press register okay so you can see there's a different set of client id client secret and client um, secret too so what happened is you have to make sure that you actually copy all this information so we can just click copy and then you can paste it somewhere Copy, copy and copy and then I have confirmed then only can press done okay so once done when you come to ERP you can see the system will actually generate for you uh, ERP system called auto count 
Alright, so now once this set up, then you can continue with creating your company profile inside AutoCAD. Okay, so once we actually set this up, what happens is first of all, we must create our tax entity. You can come here to tax, tax entity maintenance. Alright, so what happens is we create new and then you can actually key in your details. Example, I've already created my details here. Key in all your necessary information, things like your TIN, registration number, MSIC code, SSD number, and your contact details. Alright, so once you're done, we just press save. We will then go to general maintenance come here to company profile all right let's come to e-invoice make sure that you actually tag it here my consults remember hard and if you want you can actually share this company tax information then any other uh, autocom users would not need to request this information from you and then uh, they can actually get all your tin information all from there okay second thing that you can see at the bottom here you can just see there's your client id and client secret so just now when we were at the my invoice portal they give you an id and secret make sure you just paste here your id and then your secret then once you're done you press ok and you will have your aip company id here so this will be actually similar to the my invoice tax portal and then now you are ready to run your e-invoice okay so in auto count this is actually what you need to do first to set it up so that you're ready for the e-invoice implementation if you have any further questions or you like us to create any more guides in the future do leave it in the comments below all right thank you